So, I need help. Not in the therapy way, but in the I don't know what I'm doing on YouTube way. I have so many projects going on, and I don't know what to do with them. Someone recently sold me this car for an extremely good price. I've got this one right here. Inside I've got the Pink Pig. I've got another one. I want to update on what's going on with the projects, what my plans are in the future, and kind of my dilemma. So. So this car, we have a 2008 Cayenne Turbo. Uh, I've already changed the wheels to the braids. I've already put a roof rack on it. I'm not entirely sure what its purpose serves or if I'm gonna keep it that long. Uh, I bought it for a good enough price that I can justify romping on it and beating the crap out of it. This one right here is the main vehicle that I'm living in currently. I've got the bed platform in there. I've got a new lighting setup. I also haven't talked about this car at all on YouTube yet. Uh, since like a pretty major transformation. I've got Project X lighting. I've got a Eurowise front bumper. I put my worn winch in there, Factor 55 Ultra Hook, uh, locked off-road coilovers. You guys maybe saw the install video on those. I have since deleted my subframe bushings entirely, welded in steel plates because the subframe, uh, I don't want to be romping through the desert. The bushings fail and the subframe falls out underneath the car. And then everything gets ripped out. So, put my race lines back on. 35 inch general tires. I got these fender flares, OEM fender flares at a junkyard of a GTS for a very good price. I put a GTS front bumper on here. So I've got the LED running lights from the GTS along with the running lights up here and up there. Uh, what else? Front runner roof rack. I have so many hours into uh, these custom brackets made by a guy named Alex Fishburn to mount these Project X lights up here. Uh, so many hours into the wiring for the roof rack too to make everything ideal. I also talked to the Project X, like the guy who does their wire harnesses and everything just to make sure everything was gonna be correct. Side exits here, Eurowise rear bumper, Eurowise sliders, uh, rigged tire carrier, GTS spoiler that I got for an incredibly good price off the, the parts car. Um, up here we've got the front runner table, Rome 95 liter cases, soon switching to 83 liter cases just because they stick up a little bit farther than I think looks good. Rome is helping me out on that, they're awesome, zero complaints there. The bed is out, but the bed platform, the inside's kind of messy, my aloe box is right there. I have my fan, power tank, Ikea drawer, fridge. Uh, up front, I mounted the Project X Ghost Controller, Ghost Box Controller. So I have four buttons. This one controls the running lights, uh, two outside main lights, inside main light, roof lights. And Garmin Overlander and the RAM mount for the phone. So that's kind of it that sits right there. Um, what else? <sighs> Underneath the car, we don't have much. Someone put a sticker down here that says, uh, your mom sucks at overlanding. I've just kind of left it on there. The rear shocks also locked. I have Eurowise rear, uh, rear arms. I put on seal savers for the shocks because I had to become leaky. Uh, those have since been replaced entirely. I built the diesel heater into the side of the car. I'll open this up. Haven't talked about this on YouTube yet. Oh, inside of here, I have a Chinese $200 diesel heater that I built in. The heat comes out right there and the exhaust and combustion intake are down here. You can see that. Yeah, the steel and like Teflon pipe. Underneath here, I have like a three quarter gallon fuel tank for the diesel. I installed this so you can see the voltage of the battery. And then also a USB-C charger, USB 3.0. Those are those two projects. Let's go talk about the Pink Pig. So now inside of the shop. Um, I have so much stuff in here on the floor since the Pink Pig left to go to a body shop to have the fender bracket from this car installed, welded onto that one. So the Pink Pig is ready to sort of make its return. I'm able to start rebuilding it. 
it still needs a bit of body work. So back here, I need to have some paintless dent repair done uh, in the quarter panel will probably have to be repainted. Maybe this door, since this door is off a different car. I don't know if it's the same color entirely, if it has metallic, if it doesn't have metallic. Uh, FF70s and then Project X lights going down here too. SMP fabrication is building me a front bumper and also uh, aftermarket intercoolers for the front of the car. This will be on 33 inch tires with uh, Nomad wheels. <sighs> I'm talking a lot. So general tire, 33 inch tire, X3s, uh, the interior. I'm still not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with it. I bought the GTS seats from a junkyard. So possibly gonna have those reupholstered with some like crazy old Porsche material, maybe some houndstooth in the centers. I think it'd be cool and like fitting of the car. Probably some sliders, probably a rear bumper as well. Definitely gonna go for like the Baja look. Probably gonna change the air suspension from air to Bilstein coilovers. Not entirely sure yet. I have the parts for it. Currently on GTS wheels. The Nomad wheels are gonna fit over the top. I already test fitted those. Let's go take a look at those. Sorry, this update is like crazy. I haven't posted anything on YouTube in a while. Uh, the issue that I deal with is I don't really want to film in the garage because if that is the content that people want to see, then I have to continue being in the garage. I don't want to be in the garage. I want to be in here as little as possible. I want to be outside adventuring, exploring. So I don't want to be trapped up in here, cooped in here. That's not the path I want to take for, for the YouTube thing. Uh, but let me know what you guys want to see from me. If this is the stuff that you really enjoy, I can maybe do a split of this. In the next month, or about two weeks from now, I'm doing a trip with Berg Performance out of Colorado. We're gonna do all five Jeep Badge of Honor trails in Telluride with a professional videographer. And that content should be really cool. So, Nomad wheels. Uh, these are the convoys in 18 by eight with 33, 12 and a half, 18 general tires. Uh, stock wheels I'm holding for a friend. I have some Kansai wheels in there. Uh, Jeep bolt pattern with adapters that came off of the black turbo outside. 37s for P1 when that makes its return. Dropping that off to have long travel built hopefully in the next month. A 33. 35s that I have to get rid of. 35s I have to get rid of. And then over here for this car, I'm still not entirely sure what's going to happen with this thing. So I need to sell the engine. If anyone in here or anyone you know needs a 2004 Cayenne turbo engine. Uh, it has a blown turbo, that one right there, but I have a new turbo over there on the shelf. So this thing I got for $3,000, the entire car, uh, because the turbo is blown. If you can see that, it's uh, pretty disastrous. The car ran and drove just fine, aside from smoking a whole ton and building no boost, so. Could boroscope the cylinders, but I need to pull this. This car will hopefully become a half trailer. We'll get cut off right there. And then I need to figure out some way to fabricate a front end for it. Rip out majority of the interior except for the panels. Maybe the door panels will go. Uh, probably coilover suspension in the rear. I would like to utilize the stock Brembo brakes, four trailer brakes, but I need to talk to an expert about that because I don't know how that works. Whew. And I need to accomplish all of that, hopefully before 2024. This should be done in like two months time. This, I need to rip the engine out, then I can just start, start cutting everything off the front, ripping out wiring. The only things I want to function in this are the rear door windows and the hatch. Sunroof will not, I don't care if that works. I don't care if it even exists anymore. Um, front doors don't need to work. Rear doors need to be able to like open and unlock. It'd be cool to set the, or have the wiring to connect those to whatever car is pulling it. That way, when I lock that car, the trailer will also lock. I'm not an expert. I don't really know how to do any of that yet, but I do know that wiring is literally just, you know, power wire, ground. Things can be more complex than that with relays and such but I don't think it has to be too complex. 
Let me know if you guys you know, want to see more shop content. I will try to mix it in here and there if yes, but I do not want to spend too much time in the shop. And filming things makes things take two to three times as long. And then also editing the video afterwards. I'm thinking of if I did that, it would be along the lines of like what B is for Build does with like the long uh, sped up videos. But I know that those also aren't too interesting. Thank you guys for listening to my rant. Uh, just want to be on the road. Just want to be creating content, but I need to wrap up these projects, not buy any more cars. Thank you guys so much for watching.